Ladies and gentlemen, the Business Bistro is officially open and um, I would like to thank you all for attending. I'm Susan Ellis, I'm the Manager of Economic Development and Recreation and Tourism for the City of Pembroke. And uh, this, this bistro that we're hosting is actually the second one and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Um, first off though, I do want to just say a, a big thank you to Evelyn Culleton over here who is the most detailed person in the world <laughs> and has definitely uh, kept Craig Kelly from the county of Renfrew. I can't see where he is, but I know he's here. He's over there. He'll be up here later. Um, he, he, Evelyn has had the, uh, the uh, somewhat, um, the pleasure, I'm sure, of working with Craig and I for the past year. and We've driven her absolutely crazy. So she now knows how to work with us. Um, which is to provide us with notes so we don't forget everything that we normally do. Um, why are you here? We'll start with that. So this, this whole project is all about nurturing the creative economy in the City of Pembroke and the County of Renfrew. It's a partnership that has been taking place for the past year thanks to government funding from the Creative Communities Prosperity Fund, and uh, which we have been a recipient of that money twice now. And it has allowed us to do all sorts of things to help grow business here in the Ottawa Valley. And that's the sole purpose of it. Um, what we're doing with these bistros, it's part of the program, is we are going to be holding another four of them, which is our first, and there'll be another four throughout 2014 and inviting different businesses from different sectors to be showcased at each of these events to tell us a little bit about themselves, what their challenges have been, and it's not about parking and it's not about taxes, <laughs> but challenges that they've faced, how they've overcome them, and their biggest successes. And basically, they're here because they are doing business in our area and we want them to grow and, and this is a way to get everybody talking. So once the, the businesses are showcased this evening, it really becomes a mingling event and, and asking you all to get out of your comfort zones a little and talk to strangers. So hopefully you do that. Um, I'm going to call on uh, Pat Lafreniere now to say just a few words for the mayor on behalf of the mayor. Pat, can you come up? Good evening. I'm really happy to see so many uh, people come out tonight. I just want to say, you know, sometimes all too often in a community like ours, we, we, we think it's broken up into a bunch of little communities, but really we have so much in common. We all have, the, we use the same schools, we use the same roads. We have each other's welfare at heart because we all need to do well together. And I'm really happy that things like this are happening so people can come out and share their success stories and come up with solutions maybe for other, uh, for other people to think about and think, you know, maybe that would work for me. So I just want to say uh, enjoy the evening, uh, enjoy the, the great food. Uh, this is my first time here tonight, but Kudos to the uh, management, looks great. And uh, good job, enjoy, thank you. Thanks Pat. She's off to Jamaica shortly, so you know. <laughs> enjoy. Um, the next person I'd like to call up is Craig Kelly. He's our partner in crime here and uh, does a great job for the county and he's going to talk a little bit about that. I don't have my, I don't have my speaking notes, so. Can I say? <laughs> Evelyn, what am I supposed to say? No, I'm kidding. Uh, so we've had, we had an event like this in our empire last uh, Tuesday and it snowed. Then we had another event like today and it snowed. So in July, it's going to snow when we have the next one, so be prepared. Uh, that said, we're really happy to partner with the City of Pembroke and, and the Province of Ontario who, who provided funding going forward. The, and I think you're, you might touch on it again, but we're really proud in the county to have uh, I think it's something like a thousand and some assets mapped now across the county from architects and artists and God, we have two microbrews here today, which is unbelievable, which is great, yay. Um, and engineers and really smart creative folks and, and we define, and I think you will later, what creative economy really means. It's people that use their brains much more beyond a task-oriented uh, function. So really that's every one of us here, obviously, but as entrepreneurs and that's who we celebrate on a regular basis across the county. So, you know, we get calls every day as, 
as, as Kim Fraser here from Enterprise Ramford County can attest, do you have any money to give away? No, uh, we don't, <laughs> but we give moral support. Uh, but that's what we do, we do give that support and networking uh, opportunities and network of, of professional opportunities across the province, across the country for, I'm gonna put my hand, I speak a lot with my hands. The, um, <laughs> I see the, uh, to, that, that can offer solutions for you in some of your business uh, problems. Um, not taxes and not water bills and not otherwise. <laughs> uh, but we do help you through zoning processes and, and uh, maybe some challenges with parking and some other best practices that we found work in other communities. So we're happy to be here. I'm happy to be talked to later on in the, in the session. And, uh, and welcome again. This is, again, I'll, I'll say, the, it's, it's nice to be part of uh, the rebirth of, of downtown Pembroke and otherwise. It's, it's really nice to see and, and glad to be in this, in this restaurant. It's really nice to, uh, to have a new, uh, a new opportunity to come and eat. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Craig. So just a, a brief little word about what is the creative economy that everybody talks about. And in a nutshell, it's the types of jobs that you go to work to use your brain to create opportunities for others. And if you do that in your course of your work, then you are part of the creative sector. It's not just the artists, and although they are definitely part of it, but it is also, as Craig alluded to, it's, it's R&D, it's the research scientists up at AECL, it's the people like, like some of the ones we've got here, like all of the ones that we have here tonight that are, that are working hard and being innovative and doing work that creates jobs. And that's what we're supporting. Um, just, and I won't throw too many stats at you, but it is the fastest growing and the highest paid section of the economy. Jobs within the creative economy are set to grow by 40% over the next decade, and creative workers, on average, make 20,000 more in salary, and they contribute to the most of spending within our local economy. In Pembroke alone, people in the creative sector doing that creative work bringing, are bringing, there's about 29% of the people in Pembroke are employed in the creative sector, and they are bringing in 49% of the wages. So that tells you, that's why we're trying to nurture it. <laughs> yeah, you make money. Um, some of the things that we're doing that we have done with this, with this project, you'll see this banner, it's, it's the ottawavalleyculture.ca. That was in phase one. When we did do an actual mapping of all of the creative assets, the tangible assets and the intangible assets that we have here in Renfrew County, and there are over a thousand of them. Those are all now on an interactive website that you can go to, ottawavalleyculture.ca, and it's a great resource for, for things like clustering. So if you're a brewery, for example, you might want to see where your other breweries are located in Renfrew County, and you might want to be clustering close to them, or you might want to be at the farther end of them. That's, you know, th it's a very, very useful map. Um, you want to do some, some tourism planning. You're in tourism, you want to start thinking of partnerships and programs that you can do together. You want to know how many artist studios there are. You can find out, you can find out where they are, that the contact information is there, you want to start doing packaging with groups, that kind of thing. If you're in insurance, you know, there's all sorts of ways, so please do take some time, bookmark it when you get there and use it. <coughs> I'm like, Craig, was <laughs> my hand here. Um, a few little housekeeping things. Um, cell phones, if you'd put them on vibrate, please, that would be nice, because if people are going to come up and speak. A uh, little word about the amazing, amazing voice and the singer that we just heard, Barb Clark. Thank you very much, Barb. Um, I'd also like to thank another one of our creatives that we have here, and I can't see him. He's up there behind the big white light, Sean Banky from Combatech. And, um, he is going to be videoing all of these. The videos of the businesses are going to be uploaded onto the City of Pembroke website, our YouTube channel, and as well on the county site. And um, if you haven't registered, and I know that you all have, please see Evelyn. Uh, if you would like to place, if you'd like to be part of our draw, we've got a few little prizes to give away at the end. Um, there's a large martini glass over there to put your business card in. And uh, washrooms are at the back end. The speakers tonight are Roy Rogers, who is not only um, our first speaker, he's our host this evening, 
and the owner of 25 West. Roy, you just wave your hand up there. Chris Thompson from Whitewater Brewing is also going to be speaking this evening. Chris. Noella Stevens from Custom Draperies. Noella. Jane DeRoy from Purvis Galleries. And Damian McCarthy from Gearheads. So each of these people are going to be, uh, they've been told they have to be short, sweet, and succinct. They have three minutes to tell us what they want us to hear. Uh, following which there will be a general intermingling and Q&A um, networking of that just keep going. The food will keep flowing and maybe that's when everybody, the wine will, anyway. Where I go <laughs> oh, Craig has one more thing to say. Okay, because I also remember something. Okay. And Susan knows about this. So, uh, because I know the speakers are more important, but I know that you wanted me to hit it. So on OttawaValleyEconomicDevelopment.com, yeah, I know, I remembered. I Thanks, Susan. <laughs> Susan and I are really good friends, and <laughs> we work well together. Again, OttawaValleyEconomicDevelopment.com, the longest URL in the Ottawa Valley. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you come up with a better name, we'll give you five bucks. So um, on that website is now uh, a, a we promise to you as entrepreneurs. There's a, a little toolkit icon now on that website. If you press it, we promise at least to get back to you in 72 hours. We know we're going to get back to you in about five or six. And we know probably five or six minutes because we're attached to the hip to a device. But if you ever have issues or problems, click that button and there's about four of us that get that email. One of us will respond to you. So OttawaValleyEconomicDevelopment.com will help you out right away.